Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and today I thought it would be a lot of fun to go ahead and make a very fun DIY project. You'll need to have some sort of Cricut or Brother Scan and Cut, which I have here, and then you'll want to go ahead and find some little small candle holders. We found ours at the Dollar Tree. And then what we're going to do is take some vinyl and we're going to cut out the Rapunzel Tangled Sun. I love it. It is one of my favorite Disney movies, and this is such an easy project. Now, if you have a Cricut, you can go and download a sun that looks very similar. With the brother Scan and Cut, I was able to actually scan in the original design, clean up the art, and look at, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the Tangled Sun in vinyl. I'm so excited. Then what we did was we went to the Dollar Tree and we found a bunch of like votive holders. They're kind of shaped like glass cups, I guess is the best way to describe it. And what we're going to do is put the vinyl onto those cups and then we're going to use some fake candles so that I can put it in my daughter's room. And we will have our own miniature candled tangled lanterns. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll let the brother scan and cut, cut out the vinyl, and then we'll start assembling. Now that they're all cut out, we're going to need some transfer paper. Um, I just bought like a whole roll of it. It's really inexpensive, but I would highly suggest that you have it already ready to go. Now with the Tangled Sun, you can see that there are a lot of pieces. What this is going to do is maintain the quality of the transfer. So in other words, none of the pieces will move. It'll stay as it is. What I would suggest doing is making sure you rub it so that it sticks to that transfer paper. That will help a lot. And then once you have everything good and secure, we're going to go ahead and move it to the glass. Now the glass candle that we're using, I highly encourage that you also wash and clean that and dry it thoroughly. There it is. So you can see it's kind of like a nice rectangle, nice and heavy. Super nice. Again, Dollar Tree. And uh, you can see all those little dusty particles. We got most of those off. So let's go ahead and adhere it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that same little squeegee pink thing that you saw. And we're just going to make sure that it's adhered really well. See? Now again, this project is not a super lengthy one, but if you wanted to make a really fun, like um, let's say your wedding was going to be tangled, you could make some of these for your table, like three, and then put it on a glass mirror. How beautiful would that be? Or if your child loves tangled, maybe go get some plastic versions, but do the same thing. How pretty would that be? And then you could hang them from the ceiling if you use like clear plastic cups. That would be really cool too. So you can see we're just making sure that we don't move any of the continuity of the design as we're taking that transfer paper off. Oh, see, now look how easy that was. So easy. So think about making that for like a whole wedding, three per table, glad, I mean, that would just be so gorgeous. And then you can have some purple flowers and purple and pink. That'd be fun. You can see I made a Haunted Mansion one, too. I was just playing around. So beautiful, though. And then what you do is you just go and find a fake candle. Now, you could have put a real candle in there if you wanted. Uh, but for mine, I just use a fake one. But it is so beautiful. And it really does kind of have that essence of the Tangled Lanterns. So...
I hope this inspired you. Maybe it inspired you for your wedding or for an upcoming par birthday party or maybe even your child's room. So I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you again for watching. My name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner and artist for Jessica Lynn Original Studios at JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below in the right-hand corner. Just click on that little icon where it says subscribe. We'd love to see you back again.